so in this lecture we are going to talk about ideals homomorphisms and isomorphisms so the very first uh, definition we will need for this lecture is what is meant by a kernel of a homomorphism and we all know that kernel of a homomorphism is denoted by curve phi and it is a set of all elements x in the ring r such that phi of x should be equal to zero in the second ring where what is phi phi is a homomorphism from the ring r to r dash okay this r dash has uh, identity uh, the identity is zero dash right so this set is the kernel of homo it is the same as the uh, definition of group of the kernel of a group homomorphism right so let us note some important results uh, regarding kernel and homomorphisms the very first important result that you should know is that this kernel of phi is actually a subset of what it is a subset of the ring r because you're taking uh, the homomorphism from r to r dash okay and you're having phi is homomorphism from year to year and this kernel of phi is sitting inside the uh, ring okay so this kernel of phi is yeah okay the so this is one of the first important observations now this kernel is not only a, a subset of the ring but it is also a subring so it formed it has some special properties that kernel of phi is a subring of r okay but we know that there is something which is better than the subring and that better thing is what that better thing is ideal so actually kernel of phi is what is an ideal of the ring r i hope all of you remember what is the definition of an ideal if you have a ring r and if i is an ideal then any element in the ideal any element in the ring the multiplication is always pulled inside which is a into r so if a belongs to the kernel of phi and if r is in the ring okay then this what is a belongs to kernel of phi means phi of a must be equal to zero by definition and r is in the ring okay then what is where is phi of r phi of r belongs to the ring r dash and therefore when i write phi of a r it is equal to phi of a into phi of r because phi is a ring homomorphism but what is phi of a dash phi of a dash is zero so this is zero dash into phi of r and what is this equal to this is equal to zero dash so this means that phi of a r is also zero dash and therefore a r must belong to the kernel set and therefore we look at this first line this is saying a is in kernel phi r is in r and we have concluded that a r is in kernel phi this means that kernel phi is ideal of the ring r okay so this is one of the very important results of ring theory now what we will do is we will write uh, we will observe some uh, some uh, we will take some examples of uh, isomorphisms first of all all of you know what is if phi is a homomorphism from r to r dash then phi is one one you find only if what this is that kernel of phi must come out to be what it must come out to be singleton zero and these are the same result we have proved in group theory also so here also the same result is true that if a if you have a ring homomorphism and if you want to show that the ring homomorphism is one one then its kernel must be equal to zero so i'm just stating it as a result you can see the proof in some group theory lecture 
okay and uh, what is uh, what is meant by an isomorphism what is meant by an isomorphism it is a homomorphism which is uh, which is what which is one one and it is on two okay so this is said to be a homomorphism okay so if i look at one simple example let me take the ring r to be z root two now all of you know that this is ring that what is the, what are the elements of this ring they are denoted by a plus b root two where a and b both are integers okay with respect to the usual addition and multiplication and the second ring that i'm going to take is i'm going to collect all the matrices which are of the form a to b then b and a so this is how i'm going to collect the matrices where this a and b are again integers okay so this is a subset of what this is a sub ring of actually this is a sub ring of m to z because these are all two by two matrices with with integer entries okay so this is actually sub ring of what m to z okay anyway this is not currently important for us i just mentioned it here. so and again r dash is a ring with respect to usual addition and matrix multiplication Okay. and what phi i'm going to define is i'm going to define the phi as follows i'm going to take phi which is from ring r to r dash which is given by phi what are the elements of r given by they look like elements a plus b root 2 and where am i going to send it i'm going to send it to a matrix namely a to b b and a so this will be my map for example if i take what is phi of 2 plus 3 root 2 the answer will be what phi will is going to send this matrix to which person value of a is 2 value of b is 3 so it is going to send you 2 2 3 and 6 okay so this map is going to send this 2 plus 3 root 2 to this matrix okay i hope the map phi is now understood okay wh what is uh, can you guess what is the answer of uh, what number will give you this matrix who should be that particular number that clearly that number is what is zero plus zero root two correct so this number will give you this particular uh, matrix if i give you a matrix suppose i give you a matrix uh, alpha alpha beta and 2 beta where alpha and beta are integers okay where alpha and beta are integers. what a what which person uh, will give you this matrix so it is clear that the number will be what the number will be alpha plus beta root 2 is going to give you this particular matrix so what is this what am i what have i actually done i've taken an element in the ring r dash i've taken any arbitrary element in the ring r dash and for that element i have found out the pre-image this means that what i have shown you now is that this phi function is what this is a onto map okay if i try to find which people which person or which people give you the answer 0000, zero, zero, zero. then you will understand that there will be only one person in this particular ring you know, on the left hand side and that one person is what 0 plus 0 root 2 is the only person which will give you 0000, zero, zero, zero. this means that phi of let me write it in the words phi of 0 plus 0 root 2 is equal to 0000, zero, zero, zero is the only uh, only choice and therefore what is the meaning of this that's 0 plus 0 root 2 is an element of what is an element of kernel right because this is actually 0 dash this is the identity of the right hand side and this is the only element which is giving you 0 0 0 0 so this means that kernel of phi is actually containing a single element who is that element that element is 0 which is this so this indirectly tells us that phi is also a one one function i could clearly observe that okay and if i take phi of a plus b root 2 
plus c plus d root 2 your calculations will tell you that it is actually equal to phi of this plus phi of this a plus b root 2 and c plus d root 2 even if you multiply them if you find what is a plus b root 2 multiplied by c plus d root 2 then you will get the product of the right hand sides also so a plus b root 2 multiplied by phi of c plus d root 2 so all these things means that phi is a homomorphism these two p mean that phi is homomorphism we have shown that phi is one well phi is on two and therefore this phi which is given by what which is taking a plus b root 2 so this phi that i have defined is actually what this is a ring isomorphism this is a ring isomorphism okay and this means that the two rings r and r dash if you get a ring homomorphism between two rings we say that the two rings are isomorphic okay and therefore the rings r and r dash are isomorphic rings okay now let's take one question let me take uh, the phi to be a homomorphism from the set of uh, complex numbers to the set of uh, all matrices uh, which are of the form a b minus b a okay where a and b are real numbers okay i'm taking all such matrices and again r dash i'm going to use the same usual addition and matrix multiplication and here we know that the set of complex numbers with respect to usual addition and multiplication this is also a ring and this is this will also form a ring and what am i going to do is i'm going to take a complex number a plus ib and i'm going to send that complex number to which matrix i'm going to send that complex number to the matrix a b minus b a uh, for example if i take a complex number 3 plus 2 i i'm going to assign which matrix to this complex number i'm going to assign 3 3 2 and minus this looks like a rotation matrix okay uh, a b minus p a check the properties uh, phi of a plus i b into c plus i d uh, and this will be equal to phi of a plus i b into phi of c plus i d so this property will hold even if you add them a plus i b plus c plus uh, i d and this will again come up to be what phi of a plus i b into uh, plus sorry phi of c plus i d so this means that phi will be clearly a homomorphism and uh, if you if you try to see which matrix maps to the 0 0 0 0 matrix uh, which number which complex number will give you this particular matrix so you'll find that there is a unique number which is giving you this particular uh, matrix and that number will be about 0 plus 0 i this means that there is only one person in the kernel kernel is what kernel is set of all those complex numbers which will give you zero matrix how many complex numbers we got we got only one complex number so the kernel is actually singleton zero which i'm going to denote by zero okay so this means that phi the map phi is uh, again what is the one one map and is it on to if i take any matrix which is of the form alpha beta alpha beta minus beta and alpha what is the pre-image of that particular um, matrix which complex numbers is going to give you this so the complex number will be obviously alpha plus i beta which means that the function is on to and therefore this phi that we have defined this phi uh, which is given by what phi of a plus i b will give you a b minus b a this phi is uh, what is a isomorphism and therefore which two rings are isomorphic therefore the set of complex numbers is isomorphic to the ring r dash where what is r dash r dash is a is the set of all matrices of the form a b minus b a where a and b are real numbers okay so these two rings are
isomorphic isomorphic very simple observations uh, also are to be uh, mentioned over here so i will mention them so suppose i have phi is a homomorphism from ring r2 r dash okay the first observation is that if uh, if suppose r has unity 1 suppose the ring and r that i'm talking has unity 1 then this will mean that once this phi becomes a ring homomorphism then the unity of r dash also can be found and who is that unity that unity uh, will be phi of 1 so phi of 1 is unity of r dash so once i know the unity of the ring r this is the unity then i can obviously tell what is the unity of r dash so this one ka image the image of one which is phi of one this person will work as unity of the ring r dash okay uh, then second is that suppose i am having a phi to be a homomorphism from ring r to this will be common to all of us okay all the observations so phi is a homomorphism from ring r to r dash and suppose i have that s is a subring of r suppose s is a subring of the ring r then i can also tell you what is the subring of r dash then phi of r s will be a subring of r dash okay pictorically uh, pictorically if i try to show you what is the picture uh, picture of this the picture of this to remember this result it is easy so this is a ring r and I suppose this is a ring r dash and s is a subring of the ring r then I will take the image of that subring and whatever I will get here, okay, that is phi of s. So this, if this is a subring, then this is also a subring, okay. The very nice property is that uh, if I have a ideal over here, okay, uh, not only subring, but if I have ideal, will the image of ideal be an ideal so i is an ideal okay and phi is a homomorphism from ring r to r dash so if i take the image of ideal in the ring r dash so that image will be this which i'm going to call phi of i okay and this phi of phi also turns out to be ideal of which ring of the ring r dash where phi is a homomorphism phi is a ring homomorphism from r to r dash so if i try to say this this result in words how will i say image of a subring is subring under homomorphism ring homomorphism and image of an ideal is also an ideal under a ring homomorphism in your metric spaces course you must have studied something like this that image of a connected set is connected under which function under a continuous function so here continuous functions word is replaced by what homomorphisms image of a compact set is also a compact set under which type of function under a continuous function so analogous results are also observed in rings that image of subrings and image of ideals will turn out to be subrings and ideals respectively.